Hey, the fast travel worked. Nice. Okay. Alright. The members of local pirate union number 402 may not like you, but they'll respect you. Okay, so, uh... On second thought, you could share treasure hunting turf with the union. Hell yes, you're the best. Hell yes, you're the... Sorry, bud. You've collected enough fruit to stay to save off scurvy. Murray may have bullet in his leg, but at least he'll get his vitamin C. Don't worry about Murray. He'll be fine. Until he finds out I'm the one who killed his parents. But they were dicks, so whatever. Yeah, fair enough. <sighs> How big a dicks we're talking here. I ain't a real doctor. Don't take that out of context. Well, my sister's doing? Still dead, probably. Eh. Yeah, probably not gonna take need that anymore. Again, I can just get one on the fly now, whenever. Alright. And I really do not care for the cursed weapons because we can just get better weapons without having any negative side effects on them. There's a lot of stuff around here for us to lose, Jesus. You guys have so much treasure, and I'm really sick and tired of everyone bitching while I'm here. This is just nice to Oh, there's all the shotgun ammo I needed. It's also nice just to get all the ammo for free instead of having to buy it, so. Okay, well, I guess we gotta head back to Oasis now. Let's see, do we have anything good in here? I got them, you need them. Eh. Nah. Tear the bad guys a new one, huh? Farewell, friend. Do we have any new. What am I on Pandora? Suffering, probably. Alright, where do you guys. Where are you guys normally from? I like in 3 how we're able to actually traverse beyond Pandora, so that's pretty neat. Alright, let's head back over to Oasis. Sorry if that was a spoiler for 3, but 3 has been out for at least a good year now. Oh, looks like we have another side quest around here. It's over at the bounty board. Not too bad. Oh wait, there's actually a fast travel station. Or not fast travel. Well, yeah, it's a fast travel. A catch a ride station behind us as well. Whoops! Oh well, we'll just walk there on foot. I do wish there was actually a second fast travel station here in the middle of Oasis. Okay, what is... Oh wait, what exactly... How far is Oasis? Like, what are its boundaries? Because I think this town is just considered Oasis. Or is the whole area Oasis? Sir Hammerlock has a job for you. Pip, pip! Sir Hammerlock here with a bit of a job for you. I've heard tell some creature is sneaking around Hater's Folly, stealing treasure, slicing off faces and the like. Sounds terribly interesting. Hunt it down, would you? Sure. Grendel. That's a weird name for a creature. Anyways, looks like we're headed off to Hunter Hater's Folly. Did he say Hunter's Folly? Eh, whatever. And that looks to be north. Uh, looks actually like we need to... Maybe we need to take that route. Okay. I'll still grab a hovercraft just in case. Let's see. Like, am I able to take the hovercraft with me up there? That's the question. Uh, oh, actually, it's right there. Uh, we'll still just ride over here, see what we can find over here. I'm wondering why I'm sending you to kill Sandman rather than do it myself. First of all, good question. Glad to see you, you know, taking the initiative. Second of all, Sandman's pretty strong and you're expendable as hell, so good luck! Yeah, I figured as much she's gonna backstab us. I mean, to be fair, I don't know if she goes through the new use stations the same way we do, so... Oh, man, this thing fires really one slow. Down. Oh jeez. Who's next? I might actually regret selling that Miss Moxie's good touch, but whatever. Maybe I just need like a better gun. Or fire rate. Or I should just exclusively use the shotgun. Maybe. Enough. Grenade out! Shut up! 
try to get up there, try to kill him. There we go. Easy. Okay. So, looks like we were headed the correct way. That's good to note. Into Hater's Folly. Oh, this looks to be more lush than the rest of Oasis. Is this a legitimate Oasis? Holy shit, it actually is. Hey Shade, I found all so, your water. There's a lot of water under the city of Oasis. <laughs> what a, a surprise! <laughs> oh, sorry, I hacked into your Echo device shortly after we met, so I can see everything you can. I get horrifically bored, and it's fun to watch you kill people. Okay then. You can never be too well Creepy. armed. Ooh. Ooh, that's a Vladoff one too. Uh... We've barely used this, but yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Your friends where you got? I'm all in. I guess I'm switching more to assault rifles now instead of SMGs. <laughs> that whoops, that's not the one I want to switch out. This is the one I want to switch out. To Let's see, how does this feel? Oh yeah, so much better. Now granted, its accuracy is probably crap, but hey, whatever. It's, it'll do perfectly fine. Okay, anyways. Let's you reorganize the inventory a bit. The gun at your side. Your cash ain't worth a thing if you don't spend it. Any new transfusion? Nope. Like I said, I did already go back and increase our assault rifle ammo, so we're fine there. Oh, it feels good to see the fast travel station. Okay. So, where's this Grendel? Right over here. And two easy pieces is right over there. And we have side quests right up there. And it looks like we have a cus quick change station over there. So we're going to be here for a while, I'm guessing. All right. I'm going to actually want to get back up here and clamber the rocks here. I think that's how I'm going to get over there. Thankfully, these vendors here are actually solid objects, so you can clamber on top of them. <laughs> I was watching some Poker Night um, at the Inventory 2 videos, and apparently it's ridiculous on Pandora to think that... Oh, I have to take a long word. Okay, never mind. That sh you, like, get chocolate bars from dispensers, since all their dispensers dispense guns and stuff. <sighs> Anyways, so I guess we're taking the long word for that one. Noted. Here we go. Please stop. I'll fully admit, um, Vladov is kind of one of my favorite gun manufacturers because they're known for high fire rate, which is nice. I've started to really appreciate fire rate a lot more with my guns. It's a good thing no one in Oasis is dying of thirst. <laughs> Otherwise, the sight of that enormous spring might fill me with a tragic rage. <laughs> Yeah, it is a bit ironic, ain't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, Shade. Ooh, what do we have here? Ah, uh, but it's one of those that explodes like a grenade. Uh, fuck it. I hate these kinds of guns because they waste the ammo. That's along with them. But when they do explode, they do more damage based on how much ammo is left in there. But you are basically wasting a bunch of pistol ammo. See? Just wasted a whole bunch of ammo there. And the explosion wasn't even that big. Mm. Okay, is it above? Really? Okay, then how the hell are we supposed to get up there? Another one, it's probably another one of those things where we have to take the long way around or something. I don't know. Cave chrysalis. Okay, hello. Not really happy to see you guys again, but whatever, I know how to feed you now, so that's good. Chrysalis are probably one of my least favorite enemies just because of how troublesome they can be. Okay, 
Oh, and we have Skags here as well. Okay, wow. Okay, wow. Wow, okay. How many times did I say, okay, wow there? A lot, probably. Yeah, like, I can't reload this thing, unfortunately. Not unless I want to waste all the pistol ammo, which I really don't. But... Eh, whatever. We'll stick with it for now. Oh, crap. These guys do electric damage. I guess that makes sense. Uh, oh, there it is. Doesn't really explode like a grenade like it says it does. Oh! Oh, that's cool. That's a pretty cool range attack. They can throw crystals out from the ground. It's actually kind of cool. That was awesome! Alright. You know what? Give me the assault rifle back. As cool as that gun is, it's. Yeah. Again. Most of the time, guns really depend on your personal preference. There are some really good guns, just in general, that you can use for certain characters. But oftentimes, it usually just depends on your personal preference as to what you want to use. Because I, don't get me wrong, I like SMGs for the high fire rate. But, admittedly, they do have much lower damage. And what kind of grenade was that? Uh, it was just a normal... It's a shot grenade. Sticky homing shot grenade. Interesting. Ouch. Doll guns are known, I think, for their burst fire when zoomed in feature. Malawana are known for their elemental stuff. Gladoff is known for the high fire rate. Hyperion is known for their shooting, increases the accuracy ordeal. Um, what else do we have? Bandit's known for their high magazine size, but low, low reload times. That sort of thing. And of course, these different attributes to the guns all change, in the or at least most of them change in the third game. And I'm not really a big fan of fighting Chrysalis anymore. Costa Caverns kind of ruined that for me. Alright. Way back when, Sandman and I were like this. Oh, right. You can't see through the radio. I'm crossing my first two fingers like this. Best buds. Until we stumbled upon some of Captain Blade's old notes about the lost treasure, that is. Together, Sandman and I found two pieces of Captain Blade's mystical compass. Then, because I'm an idiot, I tried to stab him in the back. Literally. The knife blade snapped, he shot me in the leg and ran. It was pretty embarrassing, but that's when I learned never betray your friends until you're sure you've got the upper hand. She's literally just telling us, hey, by the way, I'm going to stab you in the back at some point, so have fun with that. Why is there a quick change station here? Okay, then. We don't even have any, like, new heads at all. Trust me, if I did have a new one, I would totally use it, but... If you got the money, I'll save your gold earned life. As it stands, we don't have one, so... See you real soon, I'm sure. Alright. I guess we're gonna go find Sandman real quick before we end the session off. Maybe. Hot Spring Hideout. Yeah, Shade, there's um, plenty of water around here. It's kind of depressing. Shut up! Grenade out! Oh, wait. Is that homing? Oh, no, it's locked. Okay, I thought it was homing for a second. Great. Okay. 
I'm able to just clamber on here? Nope. No, I'm not. Well, how am I supposed to get continue? Uh, I'm guessing there's... Ah, here we go. I think. Okay. I mean, the architecture here is pretty wonky, so... I guess it makes sense. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. These Grog Masters, I swear to god. They're kind of the main of my existence right now. They're like the suicide psychos. I do not like that. Oh, friggin' hell. Oh, crap. Found the Goliaths of the area. Another grenade mod that we can't use until we're a high level. I don't know whether I should be happy to see that sort of thing or not, but whatever. I do know this this um, True Vault Hunter mode only scales up to level 50, if I remember correctly. Because originally, if level 50 was the skill cap before the two uh, DLC packs, that increased it by 11 levels each. Every level seems like a weird sort of random number. Crucified, but whatever. I'm not a game developer. Never will be. Not that I don't have any idea it's for games, it's just that I can't do the coding or any of the other work really for it, except maybe write the story. That's about it. Can't do all the harder work. I told you to lay off. Now I gotta kill you, your friends, and your family! How would he even know where your family lives? He, he's, just ignore him, he's talking crap. And I didn't mean anything by that. I guarantee you, writing is a really important part of a video game. Especially a really story-based video game like this actually is. Because there are a lot of jokes in here that do take a bit of creativity to actually come up with. Oh my god, shut up. It's just, I do not have that creativity, honestly. You guys don't mind? I'm trying to loot some treasure here. Thank you. Oh my Please goodness. Stop. Just die. Alright. Come on, Sandman. I know you're here. That must have hurt. <laughs> Gotta go up here and open the gate, apparently. Then we can probably kill this guy. Okay, that was easy. Sandman, where are you? Mr. Sandman. You really should have died when I told you to. Now you're gonna learn that big pain... ...comes from small packages! Please 
Sounds like a certain game I played not too long ago. Alright, let's grab our compass piece. That really was not that difficult. Dear Diary, I know where the third compass piece is. Iberians got it. Judging by what they've been saying over the radio, they think it's just some trinket. <laughs> They're gonna ship it out on a caravan in the worm water. I've just got it. Oh, great. That jackass from Oasis is coming after me. BRB, Diary. Well, that's lucky. Come on back to Wormwater so we can get the third compass piece and be that much closer to finding the treasure. Wow, what are the goddamn odds? Okay, now where is that side quest? It says it's right around here. I don't want to like fall down and not find it. Maybe I'll take this down so we at least have a way back. Maybe it's somewhere. Oh yeah, there, there it is. Okay. Just gonna get back, go down while I go grab this. Oh, it's another. It's the uh, message in a bottle one, and that is located all the way back over there. Okay, we also gotta go right through here. Let's do these two missions real quickly and then I'll call it quits there. Okay, so right around... Actually, it's a bit further than this, but still, I saw loot and I wanted to get some free ammo. Right around here is where it says X marks the spot. Hmm. Probably over here? Oh. Yep. Hey, I was correct. Oh, hello. Ding. That must have hurt. Then you have to waste ammo on it. Yes. Alright. Let's see what crap we have here. Uh here we go. That wasn't so hidden after all. The crew are gonna mutiny. The cook opportunity to kill. They found him sitting around in Oasis while I got at the boat. After they strung him up, they got to talking. Found out I'd never killed another soul in my life. My guess is they'll raid the treasure room for guns and shoot me when my back's turned. Might as well let them do it. I'd rather be killed than have to wipe out my own men. And this will be my last log entry. Captain Blade, <laughs> signing off. Ah, I feel bad for the dude. I really do. Like, like he's chalked up to be the super fearsome sort of character, but then you go through all this and you realize that he's actually not that bad of a guy at all. <sighs> Alright, I'll see you guys over where we gotta go kill what's-her-face. Uh, Grendel. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, so according to our mini map, we should be able to just get through. There's a cave over here. Yeah, here we go. And this should lead us to Grendel. Maybe? Looks like we gotta go up here, though. And this should lead us to Grendel. Yeah, here we go. Here we when go. you do find this creature, please deal with it quickly. The poor fellow who echoed me about the situation and Jesse. Well, the creature wore his face like a drunk. Oh. Okay. That's weird to think about. Oh Jesus, look at all this trash. Grendel. Oh, it's a bully mob. That explains it. Okay. Well, wonderful. Now, if you could 
return to the bounty board, we can see about stapling Jesse's face back onto his skull. <laughs> I don't even want to imagine that. Okay. okay. Something. Okay. Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys back over in Oasis. I'm dumb. They said the next part was going to be over in warm water, so I should probably have gone to I should have gone to warm water instead, which is what I did. I'm going to decide to just finish up this chapter real quickly and then we'll call it quits for the session. All right. Since it should be on, this should be the last bit. Where is the caravan? Uh okay. Looks like we just need to go this way. All right, and off we go. All right, right through here. Wish the marker would automatically disappear after we've gone through it, but hey, whatever. The Hyperion Caravan should be somewhere over here, right? Come on, don't make a liar out of me. But oh, oh, that is the caravan. <laughs> okay. Jesus, Jesus, freaking Christ! I'm a sidecar. I forgot what loaders looked like. <laughs> okay. Why are you guys still here? Hyperion's basically no more, or at least it's very, very fragile now that Jack is gone. Alright. So let's see, we have some loot here. Enough to be exciting. The actual piece. For the compass. You're, you're awesome! Probably gonna kill each other later, but for now, I just want to say, well done. We only need one more compass piece before we can find the lost treasure. Come on back. Okay, there are EXP loaders here. Why are there EXP loaders here? Christ. Um. Okay. You know, I really could just leave and instantly be teleported back to Scarlet Chip, but I do kind of want this experience. So. Plus, I also need a reason to use this gun, since I didn't think I'd have a reason to use this gun for a while. Kind of glad I'm being proven wrong here. This will Come on, EXP loader. Thank you. There we go. Okay, I'll see you guys back over at Scarlet's ship. Alright, buddy. Buddy, here you go. Scarlet has a piece of the Captain Blade's compass. Thanks to your work in retrieving two more pieces from the Sandman and the Hyperion Caravan, only one piece of the compass remains. Better get to it. You won't be able to track down the treasure of the sands until the compass is fully restored. Three down, one to go. Once the compass is fixed, we'll find out where Captain Blade buried his treasure. I don't know where the last part of the compass is, but I know someone who might. His name is Herbert, and he lives out in the rust yards. Take that gift box over there. Oh god, is it Herbert the pervert? Hold on to that gift and don't give it to Herbert until I tell you to. Now go meet up with him. Off with you now. Alright, well, we got three pieces down, only one to go. And we have some more side quests over here. Fight or die, or run away and get killed at a later occasion. Just desserts for desert deserters. A few of my men deserted the ship when Sandman attacked. Could you kill them, please? Deserters really bug me, since I only have one rule on my ship. If you join, it's for life. That and no fatties. <laughs> sorry, that was supposed to be a joke. I... Yeah, sorry. Uh, oh. Uh. Okay. Anyways, with that all said and done, I think this is a good place for us to stop. We met up with Captain Scarlet, helped her obtain two more pieces to the compass in order to get closer to actually finding Captain Blade's lost treasure. Amongst other side quests that we did, including finding out that there is a whole bunch of water underneath Oasis. So, if you like what I do, subscribe to my channel, consider supporting me on Patreon, follow me on all social media links, all that will be in the description. 
Next time, we're off to find Benny the Booster and then Herbert the Pervert. I mean Hermit. I'll see you all then.